Today we're going to be installing carbon fiber mirror covers on a CTSV. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be doing a video for both the Corvette channel as well as TCC Customs. Now, P TCC Customs is our parent company that where we do all of our work. And so like I've explained before, we are going to be showcasing some of the work that we do. And so this happens to be a CTS. This is my daughter's uh, CTSV. And we are going to be putting carbon fiber mirror covers. Now you've already seen that I put all the carbon fiber around the bottom and we put a spoiler on the back all the carbon fiber. These are all from Extreme Online Store, so be sure and check that out. I'll put that information on the screen. Um, but these are really top quality. You know, I'm going to kind of bring this up to, up to the screen here a little bit so you guys can kind of see that. Let's see if hopefully you can see the weave. And they just look really, really nice. Okay, so this is going to be a, just a short install video. Uh, they're both are done exactly the same way so we're just going to show you one side and then you can duplicate it on the other side so this should be a very short video uh, but we'll get the camera around to the back side so you can see how we take the mirror apart and we'll get that one going and then we'll be good to go so you guys sit back and relax and uh, we'll show you how it's done you're not going to need a whole heck of a lot to be able to do this job okay what you are going to need is some masking tape you're going to need a, uh, a body tool, a little nylon body tool. Um, this one happens to work probably the very best. You can get these at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, they're about seven, eight dollars for a whole kit. But this will be the one tool that you're gonna need right here. As well as um, a uh, driver or socket, or a ratchet I should say, with a 10, 10 millimeter Torx. There is four torque screws that holds this retaining ring on and then I believe there's two more that's inside that we take the mirror cap loose and just kind of pull this assembly off. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom the camera in just a little bit more on the mirror and not so much on me. So hopefully we can get, get it a little bit better. Let me see if I can get this a little bit more in so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna get the camera a little bit more over this direction and this way you should be able to see what we're about to do. So there's not a whole heck of a lot to it. Oh guys, one other thing you may need is a little, a little pick or a little awl uh, to be able to line the screws back up when you're done, when you're putting it all back together. So I'm just gonna put this little guy right there like that don't, if you're really careful, you don't really need this tape because this is a non-painted plastic, but just, you know, just to be careful. So push your mirror out this direction like this. You're going to come underneath and basically this mirror is just kind of snapped in. There's a big yellow or a big uh, circle that has like four clips and we're just going to pry that loose. Okay, so hopefully here. There we go. Just like that. We'll get underneath here on this side a little bit more and we should get it to come loose all the way. So there we go. Just like that. Now let me get my hands out of the way so you guys can see it. Now what we've got here you can see there's one little cable here. I'm going to pull that out. It just pulls straight out. Okay and then you also it leaves you with two uh, actually three connectors on this side. On the passenger side you only have two. Um, so these have a, these wires kind of have muscle memory so they're going to sit, one's higher than lower, then so this way you kind of already know how that goes. And then you can, um, if you don't want to take this plug loose you don't have to, um, but you can, uh, you can just pull the, pull the cover right through it and leave the mirror hanging. Not a big deal. Okay, um, let me see on this one here, it looks like we can just go ahead and we can just pull this one right out like that. There we go, it just comes loose. Okay, now I'll go ahead and I'll put this back 
into its holder, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna set the mirror out of the way. All right, so now what we've got is we've got a 10 millimeter Torx, and hopefully you guys can see this. Let me see, yeah, I think you can. There's one right here, let me use the tool. There's one right there. So one right here up in the top corner, one right down here, and one right here. So we're gonna take those, those loose, take them out. They are all, all the screws, guys, they are all the same size. So you don't have to worry about um, figuring out which one goes where, okay? Now hopefully my hands are out of your way enough that you guys can actually see. It would be much easier for you when you guys go to do it because you won't have me in the way. You'll be right there, right where you need to be. Now we got those screws free. Now we have two more screws and one of them is right here. Hopefully you can see right there at the end of the tip. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that one free. Get that one out. Now when I do that, you wanna keep your hand on the top of the uh, the mirror. So everything is now loose. We could actually pull this ring off. Let's go ahead and get this off, get this out of the way. And then, like I said, we've got this other screw that we're still pulling loose, and this is what's going to allow, allow the mirror cap to come free. Okay. Now, you can see here that the light assembly, the outer light assembly, is still screwed in, and there's one screw right there that holds that assembly on. So we're going to take this screw out. Let's see if I can get my hands out of the way. We take that screw out right there. Now the cap will separate. This lighting assembly, I should say, will separate from the cap. Okay? So you can just leave that hanging. All right, so now, the next thing, and this is the, this is the most tricky part of it. Let me see if I can bring this up to you. Um, these clips, these little clips right here, they seem to be extremely strong on the factory uh, cover. Um, but uh, you could potentially break one of these tabs, so you wanna be very careful. So what I found was is that if you take this inner one, the smaller one, let's see if I, yeah, and you move it just a little bit, right? That it will it will come free like that. Then you can pull this one over like that. Now, uh, what I've been told is that you can get these these covers you can get from GM, and they're just paint to match. So this would be a black, and you'd have to have it painted again if you ever needed them. So be careful with them if, in case you ever want to want to change it back to the original. But where I was going with that is that this piece right here, which is this little bitty chrome trim, there, there's a part number on it, but from what I understand, you can't just get this one particular part without buying the whole mirror assembly. So you wanna, this one uh, is a 780025, and it says left hand, okay? So, so anyway, uh, just be very careful with this. So now, now we've got our, new Extreme Online carbon fiber cover. It's got all the same little clips and everything in it, okay? So you just uh, wanna be careful when you're reassembling this. So we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna put this little guy in there. Let me see, yeah, okay, you guys can see. All right, so we're gonna do that right there and we're just gonna snap that in place. Just that simple, okay? Um, again, just be careful with the clips. That's, that's about the only thing you really have to be careful with as well as getting the holes lined up. Um, and from doing a little bit of research on the internet, um, Extreme Online's, uh, their covers, 
these holes line up perfect. These edges line up perfect. There's the, you know, there's no having to fix uh, stuff, uh, unlike some of the other brands that are out there. So all we're doing here is we're just gonna re reverse engineer this. We're just gonna put this back together. Okay, so get our screw, our screw here ready. Let's see if I can get my screw ready, get it up in here. Just like that. All right, and then we're gonna take our Torx. Screw that in. Now I know a lot of you guys like to use, um, you know, like power tools and stuff like that. On something this intricate, I really highly advise you not to. You want to be able to feel if the plastic is stretching or stressing at all. All right, so that part is taken care of. We've got our trim back on. We've got our light back in. So now at this point, we can now start to reassemble the, the mirror assembly, okay? Now, if you're sitting down, I'm doing this on the camera here so you guys can see it, uh, it makes it easier, but if you were sitting down, you can actually move this whole mirror assembly down because this will rotate and it makes it a little bit easier for you to see it because it moves the whole assembly out, but it also turns it down so I can't really do that for the camera. So anyway, Let's go ahead and we'll take our plastic or tape off and we'll get ourselves a screw. Now, what I did find is that this outside screw, this one right here, is the biggest pain to watch. Hopefully, it, while we're on camera, it's going to do it just real easy. But what I would do is I would start with this very bottom one right here and then work around. Once you get this one set, the other ones just follow. Okay? So let's go ahead and we'll put that ring back in, okay, just like so. And you're just kind of fitting it back together. And as you'll see here, this will fit together nice and pretty if you get the little plastic tab, which is the light indicator on the mirror. If you get it to go all the way through the bezel, then this closes up nice and neat and it looks nice and flush and there's no there's no problems there. If you don't get it quite right, it's just not gonna line up. So you just have to kind of just wiggle around with it. Okay, that's about right right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can get this one to go in. So now, as I was screwing that in, it's pushing this outer bottom lip down just a little bit, okay? It's pushing it out, but what happens is that as it tightens, it starts to suck it back together. So this gap is getting smaller now again, and it's sucking down nice and tight, okay, just like that. Now at that point, we can go ahead and we can get the rest of them to tighten up. So we'll just put our other screws in. And you don't want to drop them. Like I said, guys, the, all these screws are all the same, so you don't have to worry about which screw went where. Up in the top corner there, get my head out of the way. All 
All right. So there's that. So what we've got here is this screw right here. And this is why I said you might need it all. It's not quite lining up just perfect. So it's pretty close, but I'm just gonna use it to just kind of straighten the hole out just a little bit. Just like that. then we should be able to get the screw up in there. There we go. So you may have to fiddle around a little bit with these screws, don't force them. Um, this is, you know, it's plastic that has not been threaded, and so these screws are threading themselves. So just take your time. Use, like I said, use a little finesse. I say that all the time. So, guys, that literally is all there is to that. So now at this point, all we're doing is putting our, our wiring back together. So let's go ahead and we'll plug in our little white wire here, our white plug. see that right and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this wire right here now let me explain this before I do that real quick you can see these little tabs there's one here one here one here and one right there they go in between these slots okay make it as clear as I can so now once we do this we're going to plug that little plug in like that and then at that point we are just going to line those little guys up and you'll feel it You'll, you'll feel it. And it just literally snaps in place. And you want to make sure that the wiring didn't get in your way. Sometimes it does. So you just want to make sure that it isn't in the way. There we go. there we have it. So don't force it. Use finesse. You'll hear them click in in place. You heard that on camera, I'm sure. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So guys, that was a pretty simple installation. Like I said, uh, I'm only showing you this one side and uh, I already did the other side, but we don't need to bore you with it. But uh, you know, you can see here, this just looks really nice and hopefully the camera's picking up the weave. It just looks really, really good. Um, so I'm gonna put that information right here on the screen. Uh, you can get these from Extreme Online Store and I'll put that information right here. And, and like I said, we, uh, we are now doing, uh, we've been doing installations for a while now and uh, we opened up another YouTube channel called TCC Customs and this is to help facilitate uh, you guys being able to see all of the work that we do um, other than Corvette. As you know, you know the Corvette channel has been around for a long time, since 2018 and we have a lot of subscribers and I hope those of you guys that are subscribed, if you haven't already, please subscribe. But also, subscribe to TCC Customs. You're going to get a chance to be able to see all of the different vehicles that we work on and all of the different stuff that we do. Um, and I'm not going to do like in-depth. I mean, here we'll do in-depth videos, yes. But, you know, everything that I post, it's going to be like, hey, we just did this new thing on this car. We just did this. We just did that. And it'll give you a chance to be able to see all of the different products on different cars you know, different colors, different things, it may very well give you some ideas. So that way, in the event that you guys want to get it done, well, then you can come see me. Then I'll be happy to take care of you guys. 
If not, you guys are too far away from me, at least you know where to get it, right? So that way, and then anything that we're doing like this, we're still gonna do in installation videos, so you guys will be set. So like I said, guys, thank you again for watching today. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notified. And uh, guys, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys, I'll catch you on the next one.